Hey everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Python programming videos and tutorials. In this small little series, we're going to be looking at how we can kind of automate SSH within Python. Now, for those of you that don't know about SSH, it is a secure shell that kind of gives you a little remote access kind of connectivity to another computer somewhere else in the world. Um, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of depth about it, and that was probably a pretty terrible explanation, but uh, it's something you can definitely look up online, but I want to go into the series with the kind of expectation and the understanding that you guys know what SSH is and how you can use it. So for this uh, tutorial series, I'm pretty much going to be using SSH with um, the bandit uh, from the bandit challenge from overthewire.org. So that's kind of what I'm going to be using as my SSH target. Um, so I'm going to be using the bandit zero user and then just logging in with that user with bandit zero. So that should be easy enough, hopefully, to follow, and it's a good kind of example to use as an SSH target. Okay, so the actual point of this video is to be get into a new module in Python called PXSSH. And um, that is actually part of the PXpect module, or at least kind of library or, I don't know, thing in, in Python. So you probably saw that it come up as one of the like first uh, results in Google. Oh, wow. Okay, jeez. <laughs> so PXpect or PEXpect, I don't honestly know what you want to call it. Um, it pretty much allows you, as the Python programmer, allows you to use Python to control other applications by expecting what they will do and how they will work. It pretty much uses regular expressions, I think, to kind of look through the output of other commands and other programs that you're using, and then allows you to manipulate it and send stuff to it from that. So again, that's just kind of my understanding so far. I could be wrong, I'm still learning about this thing too, but hey. The description here says that pexpect or pexpect can be used for automating interactive applications like SSH, FTP, password, telnet, and other stuff. It can pretty much be used to automate a setup script for duplicating software packages and other services, etc., etc., etc. So it's kind of cool, pretty much. Uh, I'll go into at least a small little API overview to show you how it kind of works in code. Uh, but we're going to be using actually the pxssh module rather than pex, uh, pexpect for the time being. But yeah, like it says, you can give it uh, a program or something to run, like a command, and then you would expect what kind of output you would normally get from it, and then kind of work with it and play with it from that. Um, so, okay. I guess that's enough talking about pexpect and pexpect. Now let's actually get into... Um, PXSSH, but like I said, it's part of the PEXPEC module, so we're going to install that, if you guys don't know how to install it already, um, on Linux, or for Ubuntu and Debian that I'm on, I'm going to install with sudo apt-get install Python PEXPEC. Should go ahead and install that pretty okay, and now I can fire up idle, my Python interpreter, bring this down so you guys can see it. And I should be able to import pxssh without a problem. Cool. That works just fine for us. So, now the stuff that I want to teach and show you guys along all, all a part of pxssh. Everything that we're going to be doing interacting with ssh and the secure shell connection takes part in pxssh's object. It has a uh, specific sort of session object that you create and then manage everything from. So you can create that with pxssh dot, and uh, there's a pxssh object that you're going to be working with. There is another exception, of course, that that's how you can learn more about the errors and things that go wrong with the code. But for right now, we're just going to go with the object. And like I said here, you just create this, and you should be good. I'm not going to go into a whole lot more of a description of what all this all does right now. We're just going to go ahead and create it. So I want to sort as an object, so I'm going to say s equals this. Awesome, and that works fine for us. And now we have our pxssh object. So the command to actually connect to a server or log in somewhere is easily enough log in. And you can see this takes some arguments like the server, the username, and the password. And there's a bunch of other stuff and optional arguments that I'll get into later. But for now, let's just go ahead and log in. Uh, pretty simple. We know that our server is bandit.labs.overthewire.org. Username is bandit0. 
and they describe on their website that the password for this user is still bandit0. So let's go ahead and connect to this. It'll take a few moments and it should return true. Excellent, when we've connected. So easily enough, the login function is to log in, and of course the log out function is to log out. You can see this sends exit to the remote shell. If there are any stop jobs, and this automatically sends exit twice and just gets out of there. So it doesn't return anything for us, but now let's try and connect again because I do want to actually play around with this stuff and do more with our shell. So I'll Alt P to get back up to the command that we ran previously, and I'll hit Enter. Whoa, and why am I getting an error, right? <laughs> it should be easy enough just to connect, right? So assert self.pid is none. The PID member must be set to none. Okay, so the PID member must be set to none. Okay, um, I'm going to use that as a segue and kind of a transition to get into the next tutorial. We're going to be looking at more of the options and other things that you can do with this PXSSH object and kind of session manager and controller object. But for now, this video, I want to show you what it is, what it's a part of, how you can get it, how you can install it, and simple ways to log in and log out. And uh, we'll get into new stuff in the next coming tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. I know this was very, very simple, and we'll get into cool stuff very, very soon. See you soon.